Hey everyone, I'm Scott Todnam. I'm a teacher and a writer. I've been teaching at the middle school level for over 20 years. That means I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. I teach a subject called health education. That's all about life, physical, mental, and social well-being. I also am, am an author. I write books not just for kids, but for parents. And I've learned some things growing up through my childhood into my teen years and into adulthood that I would love to share with you. And I bet if I say some things in the right way, you can make some connections to your own life as well. We're going to use a word today quite a bit, commit, commitment. What we're going to say is that a commitment to ourselves means we're going to show up each day to be the best version of us. So show up each day to be the best version of you. Now, success looks different for everyone. As, as we define success for each individual, that might look like different items depending on your endeavors. For me growing up, I wanted to make sure that I committed to whatever activity I was involved in, whether it was school, whether it was an extracurricular activity, a relationship with family members or friends. So let's break down that commitment as an acronym. That means we're gonna use each letter to stand for its own phrase. The C is going to start with high standards. We are committing to high standards. Growing up, I loved sports. And the high standard for myself with sports was to be able to do the best I could do whatever sports season that was. That usually meant hand-eye coordination, athleticism, fitness. Committing to high standards isn't perfectionism. And I had to be careful of that because oftentimes I wanted to be the best I could be, but further than that, I wanted to be perfect. And that's just not realistic. That's not human. Sometimes things happen and we make a mistake. We've got to pick up and retry. Mistakes, failures, setbacks, challenges, those things happen. If we're committed to high standards, it doesn't mean we're committed to be the best there ever was in whatever endeavor you're pursuing. It just means we are showing up to be the best version of ourselves. The O in commit, that's going to stand for owning your image. Now that's a hard thing to do growing up because oftentimes in childhood into teenage years, we are influenced by other people. We want to impress our friends and our peers or even our family members, but ourselves, our own personality, that takes development. That's another item to make sure that we're juggling in our life, especially growing up. Have high standards for ourselves, but also own up to who we are. Own that personality, own the little quirks that you have, all those different fun parts of you that make you unique. Put those together, well, it gets to be a little bit more difficult, especially if we are crossing over each other, almost in like this juggling motion. So let's add another. Let's start with that first M with quality goals and add another beanbag. Making goals in life, all right, that's tricky because sometimes we'll make goals that are too easy to accomplish, but oftentimes we make goals that are too general and we're not sure if we've accomplished them or not, or we're not sure the steps to get there. It's another item in life besides having high standards, besides owning our image. Now we want goals on what success is going to look like. For me in athletics, it was basically doing the best I could do, trying to win, trying to better my skills, all while balancing and juggling the rest of life. With practice, it became a lot more easier, and you know that in your own life. We get better as we're challenged and continue and stick at it. Quality goals added into the mix, oh, that's a juggling act in life itself, right? So we might be going through all um, week correctly, all month correctly, but then one little item happens and it trips us up. Ah, for me growing up, anytime frustrations sink in, disappointment, annoyance, sadness, all of those emotions tended to come out for me as anger. My reaction to certain circumstances was that I would get mad, not at other people generally, but at myself. We're gonna throw these Hulk hands on to represent anger. Now that's a reaction, that's different than a response. We react to things without thinking of them. And we're allowed to be angry and mad in life if something happens that upsets us. We can own those emotions and then decide how to respond. See, response, that takes time. A reaction happens. 
It's understandable. But how do we respond after that anger has set in? Now, if I try and juggle while angry and I try and get through my life working on all of those great endeavors that I have, trying to juggle those items while angry? Oh, well, that's going to be difficult. I don't even know if I can toss one up and catch it, let alone like two or three of these bean bags. Let's see. Not so easy. Oh, I got one. So how do we put some of that aside? After it's occurred, the response item is taking off those Hulk hand anger gloves and then deciding what's the next steps. So the next step after creating a goal is to manufacture great habits. See our habits, those would contribute to, uh, to accomplishing our goal. So the goal alone, that's not enough. Owning up to who you are, still not enough for success. And having high standards, it's a great start, but how do we eventually become truly successful? We wanna make sure we have those great habits. So growing up, trying to find the right habits in all of those great sports that I love, well, that just meant practice, and that meant sticking with the routine. I found a love of football. Turns out, I was okay. Not the best ever, but I could catch the ball as a receiver. I also had an interest in basketball. Turns out I was a better basketball player than a football player. Oh, and I also found out I could run, and I could run pretty fast. My best sport ended up being track and field, where I ran over the hurdles and raced in that competitively. Now all of those items, that juggling act looks quite a bit different than just our bean bags that we had a moment ago. Oh boy, this becomes a lot more difficult, doesn't it? But it's still possible with a little bit of practice. Great habits can contribute to success. See, keeping up with all of those seasons, that was a juggling act in itself for sure. Now, I wasn't just into sports growing up. I had a lot of other interests as well. A lot of other things that I wanted to try out. Plus, some items that would calm me down, that would help relax me and have some downtime in my life. One of those items is music. I love listening to and also playing and creating music. Another item I like in life is reading. Of course, it's gotta be the right type of book. Growing up, I loved comic books. This is a Calvin and Hobbes comic strip book. I highly recommend Calvin and Hobbes if you've never heard of that before. And of course, in my downtime, I love TV shows and movies. Growing up, here's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's called The Sandlot. Maybe you've heard of it. Now that juggling act looks quite a bit different than before. How well are we going to do with these items in the air? Oh, a lot more difficult. So to help, I needed to make sure that I leaned on other people, my friends and especially my family. The I in the COMMIT acronym is going to stand for inheriting a healthy mindset. To inherit means to gain or receive. I owe my parents and guardians a lot with that. How can I develop a healthy mindset? So they were all able to offer up some ideas. How does that happen? Also, we're gonna say the I could also stand for to imagine a healthy mindset to include a healthy mindset, and then of course, to inspire that in others. The T, to finish off our acronym today, the T stands for taking control of your life. If all goes well and we have those high standards, we're owning our image, we're making quality goals, we're manufacturing the great habits in order to meet those goals. Oh, and having a healthy mindset the whole time, a growth mindset, being willing to be challenged and being willing to fail and try and try again. That's taking control of your own life. That is showing up to be the best version of ourselves. And maybe, just maybe, life isn't always a juggling act. Sometimes to take control, we need to know when and where to apply some of those endeavors and some of those activities. When do we participate in those items? We're gonna use this crate to help out. We can put our headphones in there. Our movie goes in. My book, my comic book goes in. We're gonna take the basketball, toss that into our 
our crate, the football, and of course my running shoe. Now that juggling act, a lot more manageable, knowing when it's time to focus on that endeavor and that activity, and when it's okay to put that aside just for the moment, just for the time being. Just a few items that I've learned growing up that I wanted to make sure I shared with everyone today. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your own juggling act of life. And of course, a special thanks to Mr. Shamil Gary for putting this all together. A big shout out to Mr. Gary there. Commit to being the very best version of yourself day to day, week to week, month to month, and good luck in all you choose to do. Take care.